Good morning, everyone. Um, I think we should start the daily standup. Um, let me check today's schedule and then, uh, right. So May 17, uh, week three, day four standup. Uh, and later at one, you will have community building. And then at 3 p.m., you will have women's session only. And then after that, you will have the independent challenge. So how is everybody feeling today? Uh, how was yesterday and how? what's your plan for today? Um, who wants to go first? Anyone? Am I audible? Okay, Avram? Avram, you can start. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay, okay. good morning, everyone. Uh, let me just share my uh, my progress. Uh, yesterday I was uh, I was a bit busy uh, at my uh, work. I didn't uh, uh, progress uh, much, uh, so I don't uh, I don't have uh, anything uh, uh, to share uh, uh, other than uh, the yesterday uh, stand up. Uh, but I I want to ask some uh, maybe advice uh, from you 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 guys. Uh, I was having a, a problem to uh, to manage uh, my my time uh, because uh, I want to uh, understand the concepts uh, of uh, this this project in uh, in uh, every every steps of uh, the, the task uh, uh, so maintaining uh, that and progressing uh, through the the technical uh, part it's uh, kind of uh, difficult uh, you know it's taking too much time for me i know it can be maybe uh, i will improve it uh, for the future maybe uh, for the future projects but I don't know, maybe if you have some uh, advice or, or tips, uh, uh, I, I want to uh, ask uh, that. Thank you. Okay. Um, Herod or Reddit, do you have any advice for Abraham? Maybe Abraham, if you can make it a little bit specific, in what part do you need our support or if you can make it specific, we might cut it. Okay. Uh, for for uh, for example, for for this project, uh, I didn't progress much because uh, I was trying to understand the the results from. Uh, uh, descriptive statistics uh, uh, for both uh, numerical and uh, uh, categorical component i i was uh, it was taking too much time for me to interpret the results uh, from only only those uh, the, those anal analytics uh, only those are very simple uh, simple uh, technical tasks but to get uh, the interpretation and uh, actual data that's meaningful for for the project objective. That was the the challenging part for me, and I didn't want to proceed to the next tasks because uh, it doesn't make sense to just move and keep doing uh, the other tasks tasks without just uh, understanding uh, the results I am I'm, I am uh, getting. That that's uh, is that is that specific. Yeah, that is specific. So, uh, 
since the descriptive analysis is the first step of the whole project or the analysis, we didn't have that specific rule, you know, you can make, you can just see the EDA and the analysis, the graphs and the like, the plots, everything, and then you have the, so the right to make any type of analysis. So I recommend, for example, let's say, uh, we have different geographical area or different characters of the customers, right? Using that specific, uh, the, using that insurance company. So let's try to put some notes, for example, what might like, uh, you know, instead of seeing the data and starting from the data and doing the analysis, let's make some points. This type of things or this types of data might use the insurance company or from the descriptive analysis, I can see or I can an analyze this type of uh, things first let's put down those notes and then let's go to the graphs if you understand what i mean so let's start first let's have a point or let's have uh, let's aim to describe some specific things in our own and then let's go to the graph and try to interpret that note within a graph so let's try to determine some things or specific things that are going to be that we think that are going to be useful for the insurance company because I understand it's going to be a lot. We can have a lot of, since we have many parameters and features in the data, it's going to be uh, a whole bunch of analysis. So yeah, let's try to be specific. Do you give my point up now? Let's put one or one, two, three, or five points that we think that they, they're going to describe um, the data or they're going to be useful for the insurance company and then let's try to see those data or let's those analysis in the through our analysis those concepts through an, our analysis Do you okay. that, i think i i understand i should select some uh, only some relevant maybe yeah uh, informations yeah yeah informations yeah and progress uh, and also i think i may able to understand the data maybe better uh, in the in the next steps right if i don't understand it now i should just progress and maybe understand it later should i do that maybe um, actually it would be better if you can understand the data but if there are since most of the data are not, are not that complicated but you can go you can start with the data that you think that they are more important features that are more important in that uh, that are easy to understand we can start by doing that Okay, thank you. Thank you, Radish. Okay, um, just to add uh, one more thing. Um, uh, if you just follow the, the, task, the tasks that are uh, indicated, like the uh, minimals to do, uh, th those are uh, very important. Once you done that, you can add more. Right. So when you do the modeling, especially, uh, you can understand the the uh, features easily by computing the important features, as we saw yesterday. Right. Which one or which um, features are important for the premiums, which uh, features are important for the claims. You can get that uh, from the, the model, right? Uh, after that, you can interpret uh, your result based on those. Um, uh, I think it's it's good to start from those uh, minimal to do's. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Who who can go next? Anyone? Uh, if not, I will I will start calling. Who wants to go next? All right, Abdom, can you speak up? Uh, junior. In the past days, I cleaned the data set by handling missing values and ensuring consistency, then performed uh, the EDA to identify patterns and correlation between total premium, total claims across zip codes. I stated conducting API hypothesis testing 
to evaluate risk and profit differences across province, zip code, and um, gender using chi-square test and t-test. After that, I will start building a model using the linear regression and others. Okay, that sounds good. Junior, thank you. Um, have Tom, can you speak up or show you or okay. uh, use the carrot? Uh, yeah, uh, I just wanted to add something on uh, uh, what you guys were telling Abraham. Uh, just till Abraham, uh, I think, Afton starts speaking. So, okay. uh, um, so what I would do uh, if I was you was um, just uh, have a better understanding of the business and the data. So business understanding and data understanding are the basic things like the first thing you need to do before starting any project like um, i remember uh, on one of the projects that we were doing when we were um, uh, on the training uh, had a business objective but we were more focused on the tasks so when the owners or when the uh, people from the company came they were not impressed because we were not focused on the business objective. So uh, what I wanted to say is every project or every business uh, has a, like a need, right? So for the insurance claim, it's not only about like finishing up the tasks, you need to understand what means what and find the, like, the pattern or the things, like you need to understand the data. That was what I was trying to tell you guys, uh, I think on last week uh, session. So you need to understand the data, like uh, sometimes non-value may not mean none, like may not mean zero or non-existence. So you need to find out uh, what that specific data means to for that specific business or industry. Um, so, what I would advise you to do is be active on the project introduction or uh, when on Monday mornings, or uh, I think it's changed now. So you need to be more active uh, and ask every question that comes to mind. Like no question is uh, like beneath you or like anything like that. So you need to ask every question that comes to mind on the uh, project in introduction. So once you have the basic understanding of the um, business and the data, the rest is just uh, coding and that's just a tool. Um, I don't think any business owner is going to be impressed by your tools, right? He's going to be impressed by how you solve the problem or if you solve the problem. So you need to have a basic understanding of the business and the data is what I would advise you to do uh, even for the future um yeah uh, that's it for me thank you guys thank you Carol. The, the, this was very helpful okay good uh have tom yesterday i worked on task three in the career challenge today i'm planning su to submit the career challenge and work on task four of the independent challenge uh, any blockers, Abdul? All right, thank you for sharing. Uh, who can go next? Uh, Junior Kirubel? Kirubel, can you speak up? Uh, okay. Kirubel also saying that working on the statistical model and I'm facing uh, some problems. If I can't fix them, I will let you know. Okay. Uh, just you can reach out uh, the tutors on Slack. Thank you sharing for sharing Kirubel. Um, next, Matthias. Okay. Matthias also shared on the chat. This week is going good up to now. I'm now working on the AB hypothesis testing. 
no challenge up to now. If I face one, I will ask on Slack. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a, um, um, task three. I did the null hypothesis and then doing feature extraction. Okay. Um, any blockers, Yadasa? Um, Nadia, can you speak up? Nadia? If not, you can share your progress. Okay, Adessa, I'm, I'm having simple issues. I will ask for help later. Okay. Uh, and Nadia, I got no blockers still. Okay, keep up the good work. Um, I think everybody has shared their progress. If there are any questions or suggestions you guys want to raise, please do. Anyone? Okay, then. Uh, any announcements from the team? Okay, can I can I be heard? Yeah, yeah. go on, Emilia. Well, thank you. Just one announcement uh, for community building session. Our CBS today is going, going to be a combined CBS, as I said before, uh, previously in other announcements. So we're going to have hot seat with Arun, our CEO. Uh, it's going to be a combined CBS with other programs. We have a uh, U2J program, so we're going to have uh, trainees from that program, and we're going to have trainees from uh, cohort B. So it's going to be amazing. I uh, would urge you some, everyone here to attend with questions. If you have any question to ask Arun specifically, maybe you have questions on Ten Academy, you have questions pers personally to ask Arun, fun questions. I know uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fun, so yeah you can prepare the questions and then you have your time. It's going to be amazing, trust me. And if you don't know hot seat, it's just where someone will be just on a hot seat as you hear like hot seat, will be there, then audience will be asking questions. No, there's no limitation with question. You can ask anything because it's fun. It's just fun. You can even ask funny questions, serious questions, anything and think it's going to be fine. So that's his announcement. And yeah. I think that's it for today. Uh, you can yeah, yeah, yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good All day, right. everyone.